हे फ्रेंड हेयर आई एम नॉट मी इट्स ए डब्ल्यू एस आई आई एम आइडेंटिटी एंड एक्सेस मैनेजमेंट वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट कॉन्सेप्ट इन ए डब्ल्यू एस इन दिस वीडियो आई विल शो यू हाउ ए डब्ल्यू एस आई एम हेल्प्स यू इन सिक्योरिंग योर एप्लीकेशन फ्रॉम हैकरस एंड स्कैमर्स अगेन आई विल यूज क्लियर एंड सिंपल डायग्राम्स विद स्टेप बाय स्टेप अप्रोच so that later you can confidently explain this concept to anyone because aws iam is a very commonly asked topics so what are we waiting for let's start what is aws iam identity and access management be ready after listening to this answer you will be 100% confident on this concept let's understand with the help of an example Suppose your company is using AWS cloud and there are two applications hosted inside it one is a email application and another one is the payroll application you are the developer or architect managing this AWS setup for your company okay now there are three users trying to access these apps so a first is a regular employee user a regular employee of your company second user b is someone who is the hr of your company okay he is also an employee and third is the user c which is outside from your company not the employee of your company okay now listen carefully as a aws developer you you will take the help of aws iam okay identity and access management you will set up this service in your aws account to decide who can access which application for example the email application here okay both the user a and user b company employee and company hr will be able to access but the user c is unauthorized he will will not be able to access this email application okay similarly for the payroll application only and only the user b only the hr will be able to access not even user a because payroll will be accessed by or you know distributor pay will pay will be distributed by hr only right so that is how iam works it authenticates user to check who they are and authorize them to give permission what they can access okay so basically i am implement authentication and authorization concepts remember this and yes if you are confused between authentication and authorization don't worry i will explain this in upcoming question but before that here is the simple definition AWS IAM is a secure cloud based service in AWS that helps organizations verify users and control access to AWS services and resources so whatever services are present in your AWS IAM will control the access for them okay so in short IAM will not allow unauthorized users to access your AWS applications that's it and this diagram and this definition in this book will help you in doing the quick revision before your interviews before moving forward a quick note here i created a complete aws interview preparation boot camp for you with three powerful tools number 3 200 plus aws interview questions from all the topics step by step even for aws beginners like this second a pdf book for quick last minute revision and first 10 aws mock interviews to practice like real interviews many student have already cracked interviews with my courses all links are in the description if interested great if not no worries let's move to the next question what are authentication and authorization let's clear these concepts in just 2 minutes suppose you are a student in a school now you open the website of your school and their website is asking you to log in like this if you are a student then school must have provided with you some username and password to log in right now by entering these credential here you are basically verifying your identity with the school 
that yes you are a student or a member of this school then only this website will allow you to enter in this website school.com right this concept of identity verification is called authentication which basically ask you basically who are you and you are saying that i am happy and this is my password once you enter this the school will check in their database and find that you are the student of the school okay now authentication means the answer is only yes or no to give you access or not to give you access so when uh, when once you are allowed to log in and or you are not allowed so that's so next part is authorization okay so after you are allowed to access then only authorization will happen okay if you are not allowed to access if authentication fails then authorization will not happen so once you are logged in inside the website so then you as a student you can see these main menus in your website all right but these menu are just not for you these are for other departments also like there in the school there will be teachers administrators clerical department etc now if your school has these menu okay so as a student you are authorized to view only some not all of these menus for example as a student you are able to see this result view result because yes a student will see result right but 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 as a student you cannot edit the result so when a teacher will log in they can get the access and they can edit the result that is authorization okay so similarly you can uh, pay the fees as a student but you do not will be have the access for the salary that will be for the teachers for the clerical administrator other departments right so this is authorization so it basically based on your user like you have the student account so what rights and access will be provided to you is the concept of authorization okay so that is the whole idea and i hope you got it now and remember authentication will happen first and then only authorization all right the concept is clear to you here i have written the same definition authentication is the process of verifying the identity of a user by validating their credentials credentials means username and password and authorization is the process of allowing the authenticated user only to access to resources okay authentication always precedes authorizations which i already explained and that is the answer to this question what is the key difference between aws iam and on prem active directory pause the video think about a second done here it is iam is cloud native meaning it's for cloud ad is on on premises okay it's not and domain based it's not on cloud and here is the explanation iam manages permission for aws resources not machines active directory manage users devices policies in windows networks okay it is more related to your windows iam is resource access focused while ad is network access folder so basically active directory is like where all the employees information is stored on the windows and iam is the same thing but it is on the cloud like very much same thing 90% but it is on the cloud okay all right now if you understand this then there is one more very important related concept aws secrets managers like this that i have explained in my complete aws interview boot camp many of my students have already used my courses to crack their interviews now if you don't want to miss a single question for your next interview then check out the boot camp and book link in the description below